Hello again, it's Kevin here from the La Studio channel coming from my home studio here in my basement in Nova Scotia. Just wanting to give you another update here in mid-June 2015. We've got a couple big things to speak about where La Studio caught some press across Canada and a little bit around the world uh, for two very different and significant reasons. Um, the first one is this crazy La Studio. You can purchase it, you can buy it. It's up for sale for 18,000 Canadian dollars. What the fuck? Like, right? So, you know, it sounds ridiculous, incredible, you know, outrageous, right? So this caught a lot of press and, and discussion right across the country in Canada, was on CBC television, CTV television, uh, dozens and dozens of, of national radio station chains and local radio stations. It hit the Rush blogs and various music and uh, recording studio blogs across the world and uh, kind of went a little crazy, right? Le Studio up for sale for 18,000 Canadian dollars. It's outrageous, right? But if you step back a little bit, and, and some of the articles had it right and some of them didn't, um, it sort of just sort of was like one of those, you know, tell one neighbor and, you know, I think they were all reading off each other and the story just got diluted as time went on. But just to give you the official background of what this actually means, the studio was not up for sale for $18,000. It's not like there's a for sale sign on the lawn and a realtor and the asking price is 18,000 Canadian dollars. That's not what it was about. Um, the studio, the property, the, the building and the four acres it sits on was approaching or was in jeopardy of a tax sale. Okay. Um, the studio every year, as with any property, is has its municipal taxes due, and Morin Heights was not paid yet. So they were approaching their deadline, and they had a June 17th um, auction planned for it, or was going to appear in an auction in Morin Heights, where the starting bid was going to be $18,000. So you get where I'm going with this? Um, you know, if there were, if it happened, and there were other bidders there, of course, it could go up to you know 20,000, 25,000, 100,000. You know, who knows where it could have went, but. That was the opening bid. It's not that La Studio was for sale for $18,000 and it's yours. This has nothing to do with it. So it was a tax sale. It was in jeopardy of going up for a tax sale on the 17th. So I guess with the date looming and coming closer, it got out in the press and created all this buzz and okay, totally understandable. But that's what it was, okay? Just, just so you, you understand the context. Now, a little more context that you may want to know is this has happened probably every year for the past four or five years, okay? The owners of La Studio have almost approached tax sale so many times that it's almost become laughable, okay? It's become common knowledge. And, you know, folks like myself that have been in contact with the La Studio town officers and so on when I was doing my research for the documentary, blah, 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 I knew this, okay? I, I knew it from Andre Perry. I, I've, I've heard it from various sources, okay? So that's been just a given. So this year, with it going sort of in the press and all the buzz, I don't know why. I don't know why this time it caught all this attention and, and it didn't before. So just so you know this, if you see it come up again next year, you'll know what it was, okay? Just just to put that to bed now. So that is the Little Studio $18,000 story, okay? And just to put a bottle on it, confirmed, signed, sealed, delivered, I want to say it here and now, shout it to the rafters, and you can spread it from here, it is over. It is off the precipice. The owners have gone in, confirmed as of uh, yesterday, and paid their debt of $18,000 to Morin Heights, and it's back securely in their hands. It is not going up for auction on the 17th. It's done over. The story is but a blip of, of on our memories, okay? so. I want you all to know that. That is uh, the way this must be concluded because that story kind of is still out there now and no one else seems to be concluding that story yet. Only happened yesterday, but it is off the precipice. Which leads, leads me to uh, the next update, which is another reason why there was so much press around the studio lately, and that is Mr. Richard Baxter of the uh, Save or Rebuild the Studio Kickstarter campaign, which started a few weeks ago. Um, he was the one who was actually in contact and got me the information yesterday that officially the uh, the auction was over. Um, this was, of course, from the realtor on the ground that he speaks to in Morin Heights, as well as the town officers that were responsible for that. He spoke to both. Confirmed, signed, sealed, delivered from Mr. Richard Baxter. Richard Baxter started the Kickstarter campaign 
a few weeks ago, and you'll see I'm floating things on the screen here to show you. Um, there is a Kickstarter campaign, there is a rebuildlestudio.com that he has going uh, in its inception, it's just under construction right now, and of course he has the Re Rebuild the Studio Facebook page as well. Now, I'm going to be meeting with him in, in, uh, in due time here shortly, and in weeks to come there will be a, another little uh, supplemental video here I'm going to put on the channel where I'm going to sit down with Richard and have a talk to him about this whole Kickstarter thing. What it was like, because he's caught a lot of national attention as well. He's been in the press again, CBC, CTV television being interviewed and so on, and he says his phone doesn't stop ringing. So, you know, Richard's got some stuff going on in his own back pocket with this thing as well, with a lot of attention just like this $18,000 thing. So those two things combined in recent weeks have sort of brought the studio to the national foray as far as uh, capturing some vision and discussion in the national dialogue, so it's been quite interesting. So we'll talk to Richard here soon and have him up on the channel about the whole details behind the Kickstarter campaign and his vision, and uh, I won't cover it here, there's too much to talk about, and we'll conclude that with the mid-June 2015 Le Studio update. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.